for today's salad dish, we got street Mexican corn kale salad. You got six to five ingredients. The main thing is the kale salad, which was tossed with oil and a little bit of lime juice to make it, to soften it up. I did it for 30 minutes. I boiled about four corn, uh, boiled it, chopped it down. I got some tortilla chips, some red uh, onions, Violife feta cheese, some diced avocado, and the special dressing. I'll explain the dressing in a minute. So, like I said, five, six, just six um, ingredient to this recipe. is. It's not my first time trying it. I, I tried it before, it was very good. So I wanted to share this salad dish, it's very good. Always anything with kale is very great. So remember, before I started anything, before I chopped up anything or prepped anything, I did my kale first. Of course, I washed it, I chopped it down, then I I massaged it with a little bit of um, olive oil and lime juice. So it softens it and don't make it too too hard, right? You want to soften it just like this. And then let it sit over from an hour to two hours. All right, let's add it all together. So now I'm going to add the corn, the street corn. Remember, I just boiled the corn with just water and salt. That's it, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. So next time I'm gonna try um roast the corn on a, on a grill. I think it'll be a little bit more different. And mix it. Just like that. Now I'm gonna add the red onions. Mix that. Just like that, massage it all together. Give it that limey flavor. Now I'm gonna add tortilla chips. Just like that, see? This is what makes it authentic and different. Adding chips to my salad. Mexican style croutons, but it's tortilla chips. Just like that, toss it, let it sit. Now I'm gonna add the avocado, diced avocado. The more the better. Just like that. Now I'm gonna add the feta cheese. Violife feta cheese. So it's a plant-based feta cheese. Now I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna add more cheese later when I make a little dish. You know, you always want to add it to garnish it. So I'm gonna massage it just like that. Now the dressing. So this dressing right here, I got vegan yogurt, cilantro, lime, chipotle pepper, um, salt. I think those are the main things for it. If I did forget anything, I'll put it in the bottom. Make sure you see it. And I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay maybe half of it, right? I'm gonna dress just half of it. Just like that. See how much, if I might need more later. Now I'm gonna toss it again. Just like that, make sure everything touches the dressing. This is a big dish. This this is about four to five servings. Can feed a, a family of four. A, this could be a good side dish. This could be a just a dinner dish. This could be for lunch and for breakfast. Remember, salad could be for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's always good to have greens throughout the day, any time of the day. All right. Now let's eat. All right, now I serve myself. Remember, I saved a little bit of um, Bi Life uh, feta cheese and I garnished it on top, made it look pretty. And um, like I said, I never, this is not my first time making it. This is my second time, right? The first time I did it, it was amazing. So like I said, I always added half of the, the dressing, save some for later if I need more, and not all the feta cheese. So let's let's try it. Mm. 
So, has a lot of strong flavors. Mexican flavor, culture flavor. Goes good with the chips. Let it sit with the kale salad with the chips. It's gonna soften the chips as well, but it's still gonna be crunchy. So from a one out of 10, I give this a nine. Because the flavors are so strong, the dressing is good. And just everything goes with it. Goes good with it with the corn. The Vaya Life Vero, uh, vegan cheese. The chips, the tortilla chips, the kale, just everything. So I'm gonna have the whole ingredient, the whole recipe in the bottom. So I don't miss a beat. Hope you try it. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe. If you got anything to say, comment. Till next time.